Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to live with Hasan Akhtar. Viewers, our today's lesson is continuation of the previous lesson, class 10, unit number 7, exercise 7.1. Let's have one more definition. Nature of an angle. You can observe that in clockwise rotation angle measurement is negative whereas in anti-clockwise rotation the angle measurement is positive same rule we will utilize in question number one of exercise 7.1 let us start question number one statement says locate the following angles part number two is 22 whole 1 over 2 degree Dear students, as you can see, it contains only positive sign, so it will be anti-clockwise. As you can see, the terminal arm is falling in the first quadrant. Next part, we have part number 3, 135 degree. Again, it is positive, so moving in anti-clockwise direction, you all know one quadrant gives angle of 90 degree plus 45 will give you 135 you can see the terminal arm falling in second quadrant next we have part number four minus 120 degree negative sign mean now we have to go clockwise and you can see the terminal arm falling in quadrant number three hope you are understanding these easy kind of rotations the next part number seven is minus 225 again sign negative you will move in clockwise direction your terminal arm is falling in the second quadrant going ahead in the next question we have the statement express the following sexagesimal measures of angles in decimal form viewers an angle of measure degree minute second is called sexagesimal system. Our first part is 45 degree 30 minutes. So we have 45 plus to convert minute into degree we need to divide by 60. We have 45 plus 30 upon 60 total as degree. 45 is degree already 30 upon 60 gives us 0 0.5. Combining these two we have 45.5 degree hope you understand going ahead in the exercise 7.1 the next part is 60 degree 30 minute 30 seconds 60 degree remain same 30 minute to convert it into degree we divide it one time by 60 and 30 seconds to convert it into degree we divide it twice time that is we divide it by 3600 to convert seconds into degree by using calculator our simplified frame becomes 60.5083 degree next in the exercise we have question number three statement says express the following into degree minute second form the value given is 125.45 degree viewers you can see 125 is whole so this is fixed degree then the remaining one is plus 0.45 degree in the first step removing the decimal point under that writing one and counting the number of digits there are two so we have 0.5 can be written as 45 over 100 simplification by number 5 gives us as 9 upon 20 to convert degree into minute we already know in one degree there are 60 minutes so we multiply this result by 60 we are left after simplifying 2 into 3 6 so 9 multiplied by 3 27 minutes so as a total we have the final result as 125 degree and 27 minutes hope you understand next part it is part number 5 minus 67.58 degree again 67 is a whole number with sign minus remain same 
you need to multiply 0.58 with 60 to convert degree into minutes so we have minus 67 degree 34.8 minutes now 34 is a whole remain the minute 0.8 we multiply again by 60 to convert it into seconds using our calculator we have final answer minus 67 degree 34 minutes 48 seconds hope you understand next in the exercise 7.1 we have question number four statement says express the following angles into radians in the previous lesson we made the definition of radians hope you all clear about that also give you the review of the rule that 180 degree is equal to pi radian whereas one degree will become pi by 180 so applying the same rule we are given 60 degrees to convert these degrees into radians simply multiply the given by pi by 180 now make the simplifications our result becomes pi by 3 radians hope you understand part number 4 is 225 degree same you need to multiply it with pi by 180 now make the cancellation you may use the calculator the result becomes 5 pi by 4 radians next we have part number 5 minus 150 degree just multiplying the given with pi by 180 0 and 0 cancelled then by number 3 making the simplification 3 5s are 15 3 6 are 18 we are left minus 5 pi by 6 radians as the conversion of minus 150 degree going ahead in the exercise and part 1 we have part number 7 300 degree to convert it into radians simply multiply by pi by 180 now make the simplification your result will become 5 pi by 3 radians looking ahead the next is the last question that is number 5 convert each of the following two degrees now you have to convert it into degrees so now you will multiply the given radium frame by 180 upon pi our second part is 5 pi by 6 multiplying the given by 180 over pi pi and pi will go cancel then making the cancellation of 180 and 6 we have 30 30 into 5 provides us 150 that is 5 pi by 6 radian is equal to 150 degree hope you understand the next part in this question is part number 5 the value given is 3 you are asked to convert 3 radians into degrees apply the rule simply multiply the given radians by 180 upon pi you can make the calculation on the calculator your final answer becomes 171.8182 degree we see the next part that is part number 7 the value given is minus 7 pi by 8 applying the rule that multiply the given by 180 over pi well clear pi and pi goes cancelled making the cancellation of 180 over 8 you may use the calculator using calculator your result becomes minus 157.5 degree hope you understand you just need to apply the basic rule and that's the end of exercise 7.1 thanks a lot have a very nice time Allah Hafiz